Hey, it's Stress Awareness Month here in April, and I wanted to talk about stress. So the fight or flight reaction is stress in and of itself, and it's totally good, and it can be healthy in those short bits. I'm sure you've heard, like when you trip on a sidewalk and your heart starts racing and you need to catch yourself, or you swerve out of the way of a car accident, you get that sort of adrenaline rush to be able to survive a threatening situation. So there's fight or flight stress, and then there's a bad type of stress, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Your nervous system is what's responsible for that stress reaction. And your nervous system consists of your brain, your spinal cord, and all of the nerves in your body. And it basically controls everything else. So blood flow, blood pressure, digestion, breathing, thinking. It allows us to have thoughts, memories, language. And it's broken into two different systems. Your sympathetic nervous system, SNS, which activates when you're in that fight or flight reaction. Or your parasympathetic nervous system, your PNS, which activates really well when we're at rest. And it's in charge of passive bodily functions like digestion, breathing, things like that. Sometimes your SNS can take over chronically, which is what we call bad stress. And it's basically because of repeated exposure to threats, situations that we don't have the tools to cope with, we don't know how to deal with them. It can be financial problems, it can be health issues, it can be unhealed trauma, it can even be your thoughts, which is the kicker here. Simply thinking that you're in a threatening situation, consciously or unconsciously, can put your body into sympathetic nervous system or fight or flight stress. And this can happen way more than necessary, which puts you into chronic stress mode. And it deteriorates all of those systems that your nervous system manages. So all of your systems. <laughs> As one of my favorite cognitive neurobiologists puts it, Dr. Caroline Leaf says, what you are thinking every moment of every day becomes a physical reality in your brain and your body, which affects your optimal mental and physical health. These thoughts collectively form your attitude, which is your state of mind, and it's your attitude and not your DNA that determines much of the quality of your life. And that's from her book, Switch On Your Brain, The Key to Peak Happiness, Thinking and Health. At the end of the day, stress is just your brain doing what it was designed to do. Solving problems, there's a problem, I need to fix it. I'm gonna kick in the SNS because that's my response of how to fix really threatening situations, really big problems. But the problem is, <laughs> the real problem is, it's destroying us. It is deteriorating our health. So if you're experiencing any sort of emotional signals that you're under stress, chronic stress, like depression, anxiety, problems sleeping, problems focusing, problems with motivation, any sort of problems with memory, feeling overwhelmed, feeling constantly worried, racing thoughts, it might be time to address the chronic stress in your life. Reach out if you need any help. I do have some tools that might be helpful, but I also will be showing up here with a lot more stress relief tools. And I do have a course coming out in about a month of how to grow your business, be an entrepreneur in a way that is stress-free, called the Stress-Free Strategy, which I am really excited about. So be well, be loved, and I will see you with those stress relief tips here soon. Promise.